You're live with ENCA Lunchtime, the Sunday edition, a haircut and a chat for many men. The perfect way to unwind, the Desmond Tutu Foundation is now hoping to use the timeless tradition to tackle male health issues. It's launching the Amachi Tutu truck. It offers men between the ages of 15 and 35 a free haircut and a chance to talk. The foundation's Ndumiso Matubela says many men are reluctant to go for HIV tests in particular. He joins us now via Skype from Mexico where he's attending the world's largest open scientific conference on HIV and AIDS and to me so a very good afternoon to you and thank you for your time so I was interested to see that men apparently avoid health checks because they say they find them to be female centric and uninviting how prevalent is that for you um, um, uh, good afternoon, Tim Begele, and that's a, you're spot on. And we know that our services are exactly as you describe it, um, uninviting for men. And I think with this initiative, it was uh, time, high time that we change that. We offer something that's different, something that's creative, and to really try and encourage and attract men to access healthcare services. And how are you then altering the services that you are providing for these men beyond the haircuts to make sure that they are, quote unquote, inviting for men? Yeah. Well, see, what we know is that um, looking at, for instance, uh, in this HIV and AIDS fight and uh, looking at the role of men and, um, well, one can actually say that it's been a blind spot. What's happening now is with this truck, at least, and with my organization and even the reason why I'm here is we're offering a service well, from the research that we've done. Uh, men have told us that they want fast they want convenient, they want uh, trustworthy services and reliable services. So the mobile truck uh, called Amaju Amajita Tutu Truck that we're offering is a mobile truck service um, and it's basically a mobile clinic that goes into these communities and we work predominantly in the Cliftontain and Mitchell's Plain district areas. And we basically go into these areas and yeah, we offer all those services from HIV testing to screening and, 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 and. And are all the services done for free in Dumis? Every, absolutely everything, all the services are done for free. With regards to the free haircuts where we collaborated with Legends Barbershop, that was um, our initiative and that was a, a launch to basically launch this truck. And so we basically approached uh, Legends Barbershop as I'm sure many South Africans will know Legends. And we basically said, hey, um, as part of uh, Mandela Day and your initiative for Mandela Day, let's collaborate and let's, uh, let's actually um, offer free haircuts for every HIV test that, uh, that, that we get. Uh, as part of um, as part of a way to sort of encourage and attract young men specifically to come and access these services. All right, let's say Tembe Gile comes in, then the truck comes into my neighborhood. I go and I take a test, go for the full health check, and whatever results come back, do you then stay with me and help me through the process, whatever the result may be? Definitely. So the truck itself, just because it's mobile, it's a fully run clinic with um, with the nurse and counselors and uh, and all professional staff. So with regard, whatever result it is, um, there's a system that we have, a very good one, I might say, um, and we work on a referral basis. So should your results come out positive, so post the counseling, then what would happen is that you'd get referred to another health facility. What then is the lifespan of this project, Ndumi? So is it something that you're looking at doing indefinitely and how resourced is it? And are you open yeah. to people maybe helping you to resource it further given that you are providing a free service? Definitely. So um, as you know, or as maybe you won't know, um, the Desmond Duty HIV Foundation is a research organization. And with regards to um, the testing part of it, so that's part of the research. With regards to the free haircuts, that was just uh, one launch or, or, an, as, uh, or an activation, I'll call it. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping one of your viewers is watching, and or anyone watching rather, um, and we're really open to collaboration, to really making this one bigger and really getting uh, reach to as many men as possible. Because the reality is that um, men, uh, specifically young men, have poorer outcomes when, it's, when it comes to HIV and AIDS. So we're really trying to, in terms of sustainability and long term, uh, this was one launch with, that we did with the free haircuts but we're obviously hoping for more and more collaborations and we are definitely open to anyone or with either whether any other stakeholders or even private sector wanting to jump in and yeah let's let's push the human race forward one man at a time to thank you so much for chatting this afternoon